This review is brought to you by DwayneWright.com, FileMaker Framework Solutions, virtual one-on-one FileMaker training, consulting, and custom design services. For more information, please visit www.DwayneWright.com. So one of the tasks that you may have to tackle when you're looking to upgrade a older FileMaker solution to the new format is layout management. And in FileMaker 10, I believe, is when we were introduced to layout folders. Now here we're looking at the InBusiness 2.8, and I've spent about 20 minutes creating layout folders for my various layouts of the 50 some odd plus tables that are inside of InBusiness Soho. And you know, it's just it's one of those things that uh, you know we want to have a refinement to be able to organize them. And in the past, what you may see when you look at an older FileMaker database is something like this: a a layout that has some sort of naming convention so that you could know that it is a flag or a placeholder. So in this case, a, a layout was created with uh, a series of underscore characters, a space, and then a name for the category of layouts as they are grouped together. And you'll see that that happened you know, all along, and that was how these original ones were created. So what you want to do is to actually click in the place that you want to create the new folder, because otherwise if you don't, it'll put it at the bottom, and then you can always drag it back up. And then go underneath the new area and go ahead and create a folder. Now in my case, I am going to name all my folders in uppercase. And try to keep it uh, one word if I can. And then you have to click uh, or shift click the layouts themselves, grab this little uh, icon over here, and drag it over till you see it indent into the layout. And then you can close the layout, and then you can go in and then delete the placeholder, and you'll say confirm that you want to do it. And then, you know, pretty much the same thing. Click where you want to put it in, choose new folder give it a name, hit OK, shift click, drag, close, delete, and in my case this is about 50 times uh, that you have to do this. And the one reason that I'm doing this all in just uppercase and putting them organized like this is so that it also coincides with the names that I gave the tables themselves. And then you can actually see in In Business 2 that we do use the anchor buoy the same way. So we have the anchor with all the buoys, and then the uppercase is the context table. So this is where it's coming from, where it's going to. And so that uppercase one word, you can use it to organize not only your uh, relationships and your tables, but also the folders inside of uh, your solution as well, so that they all are a consistent, organized, naming convention fashion, so that when you look at the database again, uh, weeks, years uh, down the line, or hand over the database over to another developer because you've moved on to something else, they have this consistency that they can rely on when they start to adapt the code. Do you have questions or comments about the video you just saw? Please feel free to email me at info at Thank you.